Okay guys, so we've been going over uh, dealing with an opponent who plays butterfly guard, okay, from the knees, us passing on the knees. <clears throat> so let's look at another situation here where now most of the passes that we've been doing was before my, my opponent kind of initiates and is, is in close with his butterfly guard. So we saw that we can start approaching him here, pinning a leg down, forcing him into a half guard, that's one good option. Okay, we saw that we can start forcing him into an over under pass, that's another good option. Okay, so now let's look at when he's in a little bit closer to me here. And now, you know, maybe the guy's coming in and he's starting to make grips and maybe start setting up his, his, uh, his butterfly guard. So whenever I feel that the guy's approaching me and getting close, one thing that I can always do <clears throat> is place my forehead in line with his shoulders. So now, even if he goes in and gets the underhook, I have my forehead to always block him over here. Okay, so this kind of makes it a little bit difficult for him to get a good grip on me and it gives me time to start setting something up. So as I'm here and I place my head right over here around the, around the collarbone, okay, my forehead. Now from here, I'm going to bring a hand over the top and control right over here on the back. Okay, now this is going to offer my opponent an underhook. Okay, and he's almost going to feel like he's in good position here with this underhook. Okay, like I'm giving him what he wants. Now at this point here, what I can't let him do is get a hold of my arm. Okay, because now he's gonna be able to shoot me easily. So once I get in here, I'm gonna start making that same pant grip that we saw earlier, right, right on his pants. And then now from here, I'll base my leg out, okay? And what happens is when I base my leg out, I'm not gonna stay here for too long, but just so you guys understand, when I base my leg out, slows down his ability to sweep me. Okay, from a butterfly. So if he just, maybe if he was to control my arm over here, it makes it really hard for him to sweep me when I have that post. Okay, so we were in here, he starts getting close, I bring my hand over, my forehead's on the chest, and I control right over here on the pants. Now when I step my leg up at the same time, I wanna turn him, and as I turn him, I fall to my right hip and I back step with my left leg. Here, okay? My ear, because my head was in good position early, my ear is gonna land right on the chest. And now, when he tries to bring his knees back in, I just keep this leg away, I stay heavy on the chest, and I start closing distance to establish the pass, okay? So, let's look at it again from a different angle. He's in, and now at this point, he's getting a little bit closer to me, and he starts coming in. So I wanna meet him with my head in line with his shoulders here. So I'm gonna lower my head and place it right on his chest. Now from here, I'm gonna start grabbing right over the back. And I make a grip right in the middle of his back over here, okay? When I make this grip on the back, it's, I'm gonna use it to turn him. So similar how we did in the half, when we forced the half guard, I don't wanna go straight on to him, I wanna rotate his body. So I got in here, I'm nice and tight, locked in with my grip. My left hand is on the pants. I base out on my leg for a second so that as I turn him, I wanna clear his legs from in, in between my legs. So his two legs now are outside of my legs. Now, I have this grip. I, I'm not gonna stay here on my knees. As I rotate him, so come back. As I rotate him, I fall to my hip and I back step. Okay, and I'm landing on my side with my ear on the chest. Okay, and then from here, we can start looking to block the leg and then come on top and establish the pass. Okay, so let's take a look at my hips now from a different angle. So if my back's to the camera, I'm gonna be in here. I match head level with him, okay? So that I block him here initially, and then I control over the top with the back grip. Now I go inside and control his pants. I step my leg up, watch how I turn his body. That's gonna clear his feet. Right now his two feet are between my legs. Okay, so I have to clear his feet from in front as I fall to the side. And then from here I have my, my back step and then I can start looking to control his leg and then come on top and pin him down, okay? So let's look at another variation of this pass. We saw the first one, I like to use the back grip. Second one that I can use is when I go and I initiate with the back grip, he gets the underhook on me. Okay, so another thing that I can do from here is if he has the underhook on me, I can start looking to get the lapel. Okay, now this is a little different from the uh, back grip, but what this does is it puts a lot of pressure on his shoulder. 
So try to stay with the try to stay with the grip here. Good. It's it's hard for him. He he feels like the shoulder's kind of locked in. Okay. And now from here, I have this cross lapel grip. I do the exact same thing. I step. Watch how I turn him, and I rotate. Puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder, and then we come up. Okay. So one more time. We're gonna be here at this. This way. Good. So we come in. I want to lower my head so that my head's right on the shoulder. We could go back grip, it's good for turning him, or I can come over the top with this overhook and make a grip on his shoulder, or excuse me, on his lapel. Okay, make a grip on the lapel right here. So over and then cross lapel grip. So now from here, I grab the pants, I base my leg out, I start to turn him, and then from here, I'm gonna turn onto my hip. Just be careful when you turn him to let go of the lapel, and not put too much pressure on his shoulder, okay, and her training partner's shoulder. Now from here I come around, and the knees down, and then we get the pass. Okay, let's do it one more time from a different angle. So we can go here, boom, he comes in. I change my, bring my head down. I start looking for the cross lapel. I grab the inside of the knee. As I step, I turn, back step. Let go of the lapel, bring your head ear to the chest, and then from here we come on top, and then I establish the pass from side uh, to side control.